Hello there, welcome back to Building the Boys. We're going to have another mystery build. This is mystery build number two. Um, now, for those of you that watched the first one, it was Johnny Five. So, the mystery build from number one was Johnny Five, who we have here. Um, I've got mixed feelings about him, but ultimately, for the price, I'm all right with him. Uh, this one that we're building today is significantly smaller than Johnny Five, but cost more. So I'm not entirely sure how that works. Immediately, straight out the gate, it's losing because this is this is it, right? So gift-wise, forget it. You want to gift this someone? What was this bloody thing? But as a mystery, it's quite good. Um, so to give you some clues about what it is we're building, this is another brick model. We have got a wooden model coming up on the next mystery build. This is another brick model. Uh, trust me, Lego are never ever going to produce this one as a set. It's never going to happen. So the only way you're ever going to get this is is through means like this. Um, I've no idea what this is going to look like, and I've no idea how big it's going to be. It can't be that big. There's just not enough bricks here for this to be any sort of relevant size. But it looked quite cute in the pictures I saw of it, which is a strange thing to say for what we're building. So we are building a character that has a reputation of being, you know, terrifying. Um, a, a big, scary as icon um completely unjustified and i'll explain why i think is unjustified at the end it's got this reputation as being like badass and it's like really um because i i just don't see it but it is an iconic character so i'm gonna crack this one open we're gonna start building it um we'll go through certain stages we'll see if you can guess what it is um i i really this one really has got me i don't know this is even great or or terrible um, we'll, we'll crack it open. We'll have a look what comes inside the bag. So let's see what comes in the bag. More bags. Um, right, so this reminds me very much of the Trotters van. This is what came with that, where it, there was no instructions. Uh, there was just a QR code that took you to the instructions, which is, again, it's fine, but it does mean you need a QR code reader to get to where you need to get you need internet access to build this that's the wisdom of my friend on a little now this i can already see looks like it's gonna be another gray 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 brick nightmare <laughs> but we'll see this is a bit again this is how the trotters van came so trotters van came i had to go online to get the uh get the instructions but lots of gray right so based on that based on those three bags there do you have any idea what it is we're building? No? Well, what we'll do is we're going to do a few stages. We'll take a look at it and see if you can guess then. So, we're up to here so far. Um, it's looking all right. Uh, I've just got this nightmare of grey bricks. <laughs> Find a grey brick amongst grey bricks and grey bricks. But we're getting there. I mean, it's an interesting build. Um, there's been some weird techniques in this. Uh, but I'm, you know, I'm sticking to the instructions. I'm following the rules, but we're getting there. Have you any idea what or who it is yet? I'd be curious. Uh, let's crack on. So that's that part done. Uh, that's how we're looking there. Um, you can see straight through it. I quite like that. Um, this is what we've got left. We've got to build more to this, uh, but this actual part is done. We're building parts are going to touch to that. Um, I don't know. Do you know what it is? Can you guess who it is? Uh, let's, uh, let's get this built. So a bit more added. We've uh, put this section on. Surely you know. Surely by now. This to go. So this is the where we know how oh, we've put arms on this. I think it's quite obvious who this is now. We've got legs to build. So uh, we're going to get that done. We'll take a look. So there he is. <laughs> there is Ed. 209, and you can see it from the side there. And this crank is really good. He looks a lot better than I was expecting him to look. Uh, and he's in scale too, so if we grab a, a Robocop over here. Uh, you see Robocop there. <laughs> Terrified of Ed 209. Uh, I'm going to stand up. There we go. So it's a good uh, it's a good scale. It's, uh, it's good, it's fun. It's got its problems. So the arm... Uh, the lever that holds the arms in place is not very reliable, uh, but I don't think that's that big a deal. But for, I think it was 13 quid, um, which is about $15, I think I think he's spot on. I think he looks really good. Uh, let's move him out of the way. 
so you can get a proper look at him. There's the side view of him. There's the rear view. You can see the legs and whatnot. It's nice. It it does it does the trick. And this is the thing. I mean, Lego are never going to produce this set. They're never going to produce this minifigure. They're never going to produce this set. It's not going to happen because of the nature of what they do. But it looks good. I'm happy with that one. Yeah, he looks good. Let's have a chat. So that's mystery build number two. Mystery solved. And it is Ed 209, as you can see him here. He looks great. He looks really good. And again, on my shelf, he looked fantastic. 13 quid. I'm happy with that. It was an hour's fun. Um, I like it. I, like, I, think, I think he looks really good. Um, there are problems with it. Again, had this have been built from Lego, I think the arm structure would have been a lot more... Um, uh supportive i think those arms those arms are flimsy as hell honestly it it's it's too much weight to be held by the way they're trying to hold it it just doesn't work like that um but other than that i think he looks great does he look like what he's supposed to look like yes was it fun yes uh do i think it's worth the money yeah i do um i do i genuinely do i, I think that's not bad price at all 13 quid for that i think is absolutely spot on um it was fun uh we have got two more mystery builds coming up um I've got a wooden build next, um, which will be interesting. If it works, great. If it doesn't, eh, but we'll find out. If you want one of these, the link will go down below when the mystery is finally revealed. After five days, the video won't be called Mystery Build Number 2 anymore. It'll be called Ed 209 Brick Build. Um, the reason why I said 209, it's got this reputation of being like the ultimate badass and, and it's undeserved, is because he sucks. If you've seen Robocop, he, he's garbage. And I'm not just talking about the fact that he doesn't hear the gun drop and he shoots the, the executive at the beginning. In what world? I mean, this is the thing. Let's say it's all believable, right? But still, at this point, why would you make the thing that big? It's supposed to be law enforcement droid, right? That's supposed to be the point of it. It, it couldn't get through a front door of a house. So what use is this thing ever going to be? It can't put cuffs on someone. It can't arrest anybody. It's just... It just sucks. And then when Robocop fights him, he kicks his ass, blows his arm off, and then the thing falls down a flight of stairs. Um, the next time you see Ed 209, Robocop kills him in one shot. He's got the, the assault cannon, just bang! And it's just a set of legs. The next time we see Ed 209, he's in Robocop 2, and he's got his foot stuck in a hole. Um, it, it's, it sucks. But it's like, oh, Ed 209. It's like, not really, not so much. Not so much. Ed 209 sucks. As robots go, he's terrible. It looks good. Iconic as hell. And this is the thing. It looks good and he is iconic. But the actual is ridiculous. It is. It's it's just... I don't know why he gets his reputation of, ooh, Ed 209. And then you play him in video games and you'd be nails hard. If you ever played a Robocop video game, fighting Ed 209 was tough. Um, which isn't like the films. It should have been easy to fight Ed 209 in video games. It's just like... He's got this completely undeserved reputation. It's, it's, yeah. He should just be known as kind of like, oh, he's garbage, and he looks good, but he's garbage. Because that's what he is. That's, that's what it should be. But, um, I enjoyed it. He is iconic garbage. I enjoyed building that one. That one was fun. That really was. Um, but that's all for this one. We will be back, uh, next week with lots of fun things. So, um, Lancaster Bomber will be on next week. Uh, that'll be coming up very soon. I mean, there might be today. Um, if not, it will be tomorrow. Um, so tune in for those. we will have a weekly catch up, a few other bits and pieces, uh, and a few surprises as well. So um, all good stuff. If you haven't yet, please remember to like and subscribe. Helps channel massively, and um, we really do appreciate your support. If you'd like to contact us, you can contact us at buildingtheboys at outlet.com. Um, we'd love to hear from you or drop a comment down below. Um, that's all from me in a world where you can be anything at all. Just be nice, and I'll see you very, very soon for more from Building the Boys. See you then.